It's Monday, February 20th, 2023, and I just got the weekly email from Empire Flippers with their new listings for the week, and I wanted to take a look at this one with an asking price of $381,411. It's a display advertising, Amazon Associates, an affiliate website in the art and hobbies niche. And we can see that it was created in August 2018. The WordPress site features informational and review type content related to treatments for surfaces within the home. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos where I review online businesses and online businesses that are listed for sale, you'll know that I like businesses that are more than five years old. And while this one just barely reaches it there, it's at that five year threshold. But what you also might know is that I don't really like content affiliate style websites. I like online businesses where there is an actual product and money is exchanged in return for a product or service or good. I, I really don't like the content affiliate display style websites, but this one is. So I wanted to run through this and talk more about those and content websites and yeah, what I like or dislike about this listing. Now, I've opened it up here and we can see that they're asking a 45X multiple on an average monthly profit of $8,476. My thought is that that 45X multiple is rather steep. Now, let's talk about why I really don't like content or affiliate type of websites. And that is because A, your traffic source is primarily 100% Google in basically all cases. So it's very flimsy. They're subject to one algorithm ranking update basically can wipe out your entire business, wipe out your entire revenue stream. And actually, I did a video looking at oh, an affiliate site from a known affiliate site creator, guru, expert in the space, Spencer Hawes, in his site Own the Yard. He sold the site, it crashed. Uh, I will link to that video below this video in the comments or descriptions, etc. So for that reason, I really don't like them from a perspective of, of acquisitions. Now, what would make these websites really good to own is if they have a lot of branded search traffic. Anyways, let's dive into this one here and see what we can pick out. Uh, we know that the WordPress site features informational and review type content related to treatments for surfaces within the home. The site comes with a large amount of well-written content and traffic is well spread across several pages. The business generates revenue from display advertising, Amazon Associates and affiliate partnerships. The traffic comes primarily from organic, 91.74, direct, 5.14, referral, 2.81. So basically all organic Google, and it comes from a couple different countries. Included in the sale, you get social media accounts, email list with 4,000 subscribers, and do we have any other details? Okay, the earnings. So let me just kind of jump into what I like about this listing right here. And the first thing that really jumps out to me is the earnings. Oftentimes you see affiliate style websites where their earnings just took off, right? I mean, like if we're going to redraw the graph, they're like doing, 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 and then boom, you know, they just kind of hit and take off like a hockey stick. This one seems to have peaked out, you know, close to two years ago at this point, over a year and a half ago, and it's kind of stagnated around there. So rather than seeing a site where it's just taking off and someone wants to get out, you know, uh, unload their hot potato, this one could be at a point where the owner, the owner feels like they've done everything that they can. So I'd rather see a site or any business really with stable earnings as opposed to hockey stick growth, which you tend to see in affiliate websites. Uh, we can see the traffic follows that, follows that revenue pattern. I don't know if there's anything else down here. That's pointed out opportunities, translating existing content in another language, maybe risk Google algorithmic changes could cause traffic to fluctuate huge advertiser changes can affect the earnings per click. So you're pretty standard risk there. So back to what I like here before I just keep bashing uh, affiliate websites, the, the traffic is stable on this one. I really like that. I like that it's five years old or so. And then when we come down here to where it says the WordPress site features informational and review type content related to treatments for services, where was it? The site comes with a well amount of well-written content and traffic. Okay. Well-written content is great, but most people don't read anymore. Like think about your interactions online and certainly the interactions of your friends and family. I know 
me being in the affiliate marketing world and online business space, I tend to read stuff online more and have more respect for well-written content. Uh, I will say that is diminishing over the last few years particularly, but my friends and family, when I observe them watching or watching, consuming online content, I notice they're watching it, and I do it too. When I want to learn how to do something, I just go right to YouTube. You know, when I want to review, I go to YouTube, look for somebody that's been hands-on with the product. Uh, so while this isn't good for the condition, for good for the current state, I think this presents a lot of opportunity if the website has already gotten to this level and kind of plateaued with well-written content to where you could come in and start creating that video content like faceless YouTube style or getting your hands on the product and doing voiceover product content for it. That would be very big in opportunities. And I also like the email list. Now, an email list can be, I don't want to say it can be good or bad, but it can be good or not as good. 4,000 subscribers relative to their traffic is very low, but it really depends on how engaged they are. Uh, and finally, we don't know it, but does the site have any branded search traffic? 5.14% direct. I will say that's higher than a lot of affiliate content websites, but that also could just be from like bots or something like that. That seems a little bit higher than what you'd get in terms of like bot traffic that your analytics would pick up or, you know, people working on your site going to it. It seems a little high for that. So maybe there is some branded search terms here but we don't know. But what I really like is A, the age and the fact that the earnings have have plateaued and B, that it's written content, which I think would translate into some video content. So there's some opportunity there. I, oh, yes. I also like that there's both display advertising and Amazon Associates. So you're not 100% on the other. A lot of these businesses will be you know, 95% Amazon Associates or 95% display. So that is what I like about this uh, affiliate website essentially here. And that is what I think about affiliate websites. On that note, guys, I hope you found this video helpful and insightful. If you are interested in buying an online business, let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions on authority, 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 or affiliate style websites, also let me know in the comments below. And hey, do me a sweet one, smash that like button, do yourself a sweet one so you get these videos and more insight into online businesses and hit that subscribe button. That's a wrap on this one. I'm signing off.